Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another accepted or rejected. And if I'm wearing the same outfit and look, that's because I am. But anyways, so today's accepted or rejected is going to be on velour lashes. And if you don't know what velour lashes, they are high-end eyelashes made out of mink fur. And so let me say they retail for $35 to $50, depends. This is what they this these are what they look like and um, they're really soft, a really nice like, band and stuff like that. So, accept it or reject it. I'm sorry you guys, you're gonna have, you guys are going to have to reject this item and let me tell you why. So, these are, first of all, $35 to $50. What? <laughs> $35 to $50, that is a lot of money to be spurging on lashes. Um, Especially if you guys are like beauty on budgets or like, who even wants to spend that much money on lashes and um, And you know what the and I've I've bought these because uh, Jacqueline Hill always uses velour lashes all the time and um, She loves them. She says they're the best. So you know what I buy whatever Jacqueline Hill tells me that I need in my life um, But these are just so expensive. I'd rather spend 35 to 50 dollars like on a freaking foundation and this is this is even thirty five dollars this is like thirty two dollars and um or like i don't know i just rather spend it on like a foundation a really good brush a lipstick or something like that that i know it's gonna last me more than what this says uh more than 28 uses which this says it is 28 uses um i got them up to two months of use so um yeah, so I, I got yeah I got them up to two months of use, which is a pretty long time compared to the Ardell lashes or something like that. But um, I was gonna put them on to film for this um, accept it or reject it, but look what happened. So um, I am I I don't know if I showed you guys in a video, but I know when I um, before I put on my lashes I have the day before there's normally like a little bit of excess glue or whatever so I'll normally just like get my tweezers and these are nice and pointy and I'll get um like the I'll pinch the glue and I'll just kind of like slowly like take it off or something like that just so um it's like a nice clean band where I can start all over but look what happened when I was doing it to these ones so I was kind of like sorry guys this is what happened um you guys see that little little empty space yeah these are the lashes that ripped off and these ones like look okay but they still like they still don't they don't look as nice as when I when they first got them out of the box I know I got two months use out of them but with me trying to get them off like the lash band is like a really like good size it's thick enough for you to like look like your lash bands like really dark so your lashes look fuller but it's so thick that you can't like pinch the glue and take it off it'll like pinch the whole thing and like rip it off and that's exactly what happened to this so that just really <laughs> made me upset and it kind of pissed me off but yeah I just if you guys love lower lashes, you know what, like, that's awesome, but I just feel like that's a lot of money to be spurging on a pair of lashes that won't last you more than, like, that won't last you more than, like, six months. So, yeah, I don't know. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this accepted or rejected on, oh, crap. Velour lashes. If you guys try Velour lashes or like any other lash companies, leave it in the comments below and let me know what you guys think about them. And um, yeah, oh yeah, also this is in the style you complete me in case you guys were curious. So yeah, they're, they're the ones that kind of flare up. But yeah, if you guys tried have, if you guys have tried Velour lashes, lashes, if you guys have tried Velour lashes, let me know in the comments below and what you guys think about it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.